Okay, so we've generated our first graph and have opened it in Gephi. And we see this big blob of nodes and edges. And this is what all your graphs are going to look like initially when you load them into Gephi. So your Gephi might look a little bit differently. I have laid out all of my panels, uh, lumped them together at the top of Gephi. You can kind of move this around and adjust it as you see fit. But the first thing we want to do is pick a layout algorithm. So my default layout algorithm I use is Force Atlas. And in this case, I'll set the repulsion strength to 2000 and give it a run. So that's actually going to start to blow the graph apart a bit. And you can see it working away. We'll turn on the black background to make it look cool. And now let's partition the graph. So this means to actually color in the, the nodes on the graph. And if you remember, we set keywords and videos as node attributes, and we can actually color it in based on that. That's awesome. So we can stop the layout. And now let's set a ranking. And this just means that we're going to make the nodes larger if they're more well connected. So I've used the degree and I've clicked the little jewel to set size. And when we hit apply, we see that the bigger nodes stand out on the graph. This is telling us that they're more important or more well connected. So we turn on node labels so we can actually see what those nodes are. We'll scale the labels down a bit so that we can actually read them. And let's zoom in on that big red node in the middle. And we see that it's Simon. No gigantic surprise there. And let's pick some other ones. So if we zoom in on this, it's a video, and we can see all the associated keywords that we picked out for that video. And interestingly enough, if we pick another red node and zoom in, we see it's a relatively generic term that's there. So we're going to write some code now to fix this up a bit. 